us to another episode in a series of episodes where we are focusing on the November 2022 biology paper 2. So in case you are coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, please head to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button because of so much content on our channel. We've covered mathematics, sciences and now biology from 2017, all the past papers, you find all the answers explained extensively. Let us look at question 5. Figure 5 shows blood group phenotypes for a mother and her two children. So we have the father whose blood group is unknown, mother blood group is A, the son blood group is O, daughter blood group is B. Question A from figure 5 deduce the genotypes for the father and mother. So, generally speaking, there are four types of blood group. So, blood group A, which is in that of the mother, can either be A, A, O, A, O. That's the possibility. Then, for the daughter whose blood group is B, can also be either B, B, O, B, O. Then for the son whose blood group is O, can only be O, O. So now, if the son has O, O, it means the son must have gotten one O from the father, then the other O from the mother. So meaning, the mother can only be a o then if the daughter has got b b b or b o because this is b so it's either this one or this but because one a came from the mother so the mother has got a o for he for her to donate o to the son what it means is the daughter can have B O, meaning the B came from the father. And the father donated one O to the son. So the father should have B O. Such that this O will donate to the son, then this B will donate to the daughter. Then the mother donates one B one O to the to the daughter or one a to the to the daughter so what this tells us the father will have b o then the mother will have a o that's what is going to happen so the father and then the mother could donate o o to give us the son with the blood group on or the father could donate a B to the daughter, then the mother donates a O to the daughter, so that we have B O. So this should be the blood group of the father and the mother. So those are the possibility. Question B: The daughter got married. Now the daughter, what blood group the daughter has? So the daughter got married and had a child with a blood group A. B. What was the blood group phenotype of the husband? So we need to find the, the phenotype of the husband. Now the blood group of the husband should either be A or A B for us to have a child with a blood group A B. This is because of the child's AB blood group. So this implies that he received an ARA, an ARA, and another BRA. But because the mother has a blood group B, from here we can tell the mother has a blood group B, the father must have an ARA. So that we have a possibility of having an A B. So the the daughter has B O. 
for last to have an a b this tell tell us that the the father or the husband can have blood group m which is either a o or a a such that when you do the cross we can have an a b somewhere here or a pure a o o or you can have an a b such that when you cross we are going to end up with a b so what this tells me is the father could either be type a with general type of a a or a o or a b with the general type of purely a b so the husband in this case will have either a a o a o o a b so now because this is just one blood group so this just becomes a so the husband should either be a or a b question c the father divorced the wife and married another woman with blood group b and their first child had blood group o with the help of a genetic diagram explain how this is possible so now like what we did we noticed that the father had the blood group of o so hence we are going to say the father who have b o then we are told that he goes and marries a woman with blood group b so b we have b o or b b these are the possibility of having blood group b but because the first child has the blood group o meaning there is only this possibility because the father should be able to raise an o and also that we have a blood group o so the mother which is the woman in this case who have b o then at this point now we can do the diagrams to determine the garments so we have the parental phenotype so this is phenotype for the parents then the father could release a beam and the mother a beam then we're going to have a b beam so this is the child with blood group b in this case then alternatively the father could release a beam then the mother release an o then we're going to have a b o so this will still be blood group b then the father could release an o the mother a b we're going to end up with a b o this will still be a b blood group then if both of them they donate it is o o we're going to have an o so this will be blood group o so this is how it can happen such that we end up with a child with blood group o so this is what you need to show so what is important is it label this clearly so the first line that we are seeing these um palento genotype then we know that the father had blood group b then the mother blood group b and these are called palento so you need to label them properly palento phenotype label those clearly then we are going to have the phenotype and the genotype so this is the genotype of the product then this will be so this will be the genotype of the resultant from when these gametes are released then we are going to have phenotype here which will give us the blood group of the children so once you do that you are good to go and you get 
the five marks here that you are required. So this is how you answer this question to get the full marks.